Alright guys, what's going on? It's Spartan Warrior 5 and today I've got some Killzone 2 gameplay for you guys. I know I promised I uh, was going to do some Red Dead Redemption but that'll be later. Just hit the mic. Um, if you guys hear that, I'm sorry. But uh, I feel like this gameplay is more fitting for the topic at hand and I want to get this topic out as soon as possible so let's get into this. What am I talking about? Why so serious? What's going on? Machinima. I wanted to be able to talk about this, and I feel like this gameplay, this dark mood, is kind of an okay setting for this kind of topic. Now, why am I talking about Machinima? Well, let's talk about Machinima a little bit, just some general knowledge facts about it. And if we have time, I'll talk about Killzone and Asteroid, so let's get into it. Machinima, they have about a million subscribers, and of course they give out the famous Machinima contracts, where you upload a video to their channel, gameplays, whatever, you get paid for it. Now, I'm not sure about the whole paying system, but from what I've heard, you get paid by the amount of views that your video gets from when you upload. Now, that just confuses the hell out of me because people would be paid a million dollars for pretty much every video. And I don't think Machinima would have that much money to spend. But I don't know. And uh, Machinima, I think it's like this huge gaming uh, corporation. I know they host up the uh, tournaments, gaming tournaments for Call of Duty, for Halo, for other games. I know they're recently, I think they're still having the Frag Cup for uh, Halo. So, I mean, that's what they do usually. They're, uh, they're just a corporation. Now, I'm going to be talking a little about, about the contracts and just my opinions about Machinima. First off, here's a statement. If they ever, ever offer me a contract, I would probably respectfully decline now there might be someone out there watching thinking themselves oh my god he's denying millions of dollars and views and subscribers he's an idiot here's my reasoning all right here's my theory here's my opinions about machinima the only reason why machinima will give you a contract is because one you have a lot of subscribers yeah subscribers okay. And I'm not talking about 100 subscribers, I'm talking about thousands of subscribers. I'm talking 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, you know, a lot of subscribers. And the reason being, they don't want people who have 100 subscribers to up because they have nothing to offer. They have no viewers that'll come over and give them views. They're looking for more people who have thousands of subscribers, thousands of people watching, to follow their videos on the machinima, giving them more views, giving them more comments, giving them more likings. They're trying to build up their channel. That's what they're doing. You see the com commentators from machinima. Only use me blade, next gen tactics, junkyard, um Converton, I don't know if he's got a lot of subscribers. Wings of Redemption, he's got around seventy thousand. Uh I'm trying to think of some others, but none's really coming to mind. Uh, you see these guys, and even before Machinima, they had thousands of s subscribers, you know, they had viewers before Machinima. And Machinima looked at these guys and said, hmm, they've got good content, yeah, they've got you know, a, lot, a lot of viewers, let's, uh, let's offer them up some money to get them on Machinima. They want us on their channel because they have something to offer. They have lots of viewers, and not only that, they, here's the second part, they have interesting gameplay, they have high scores, they have... Like, you know, interesting gameplay, like only use me blade. He only uses his knife, alright? That's very interesting, because, you know, he has to be very skilled at going around knifing people, you know? He has to get in their face, in personal, knifing them. It's not that easy, guys. Trust me, I've posted up one knife-only gameplay with Commando on my for 2. It wasn't that easy, alright? And so that's what Machine was all about. They just want to get people into their channel. Who can give them views who can give them more personnel they want to build up their 1 million subscribers to even higher heights they want to get more they want more viewers they want to be the best champ there and right now they probably are realistically for gaming at least and uh, that's basically it from a show really I mean that's basically all my thoughts if you're looking into a machinima contract, if you're looking to become a machinima commentator, you need to realize that you need HD gameplay, you need to have interesting gameplay, and you need to have a lot of viewers, alright? You can't just be going on expecting a contract if you have only a couple hundred subscribers, alright? 
it doesn't work that way. And yes, I mentioned some other commentators, and like, let's take Wings of Redemption, for example, 70,000 subscribers. Yes, Machinima did help him out to get some of those viewers, but Machinima wanted to reach out to him because, one, he has interesting gameplay. He, technically, on YouTube, is a camper. People call him a camper. He brings up controversy, views, comments. Machinima is interested in that. They want that, and there goes the phone. I hope someone answers that really quick. But, uh, oh, there it goes. Um, he brings up something to the table. That controversy he creates, that's what Machinima wants to get at. So that is that. Um, I don't think there's anything else about Machinima that I really want to talk about. But you know what, let's start talking about the gameplay, because I haven't done that in a while. Uh, Killzone, great series. And it's one of those games in a list, long list of games, that are overlooked by Call of Duty and all the other upcoming games that are coming out, you know? I mean, games like these just sometimes outshine the recent games that have come out, like Mono for 2. That's the, probably the biggest game you see out there on YouTube right now. And the only reason why is because all the fanboys want to see it. Oh my god, it's Modern Warfare. I want to see Modern Warfare. <laughs> why? It's, uh, okay. Uh, that's what we're trying to feed their views, or their appetite, I guess you could say. Um, Modern Warfare 2 is basically the most demanded game out there, but you know what? With that, it makes these games like Killzone 2, Resistance, uh, I think of some others, but none are coming to mind. Uh, it basically makes these games downtrodden, not looked at so much. And yet they're great games. Yes, they're old. I realize that, but they're still great. They're more entertaining. That's why I like them. Kills on. Let's give a little bit of a, a story plot kind of a deal here. Kills on one. I didn't really play at all. I didn't really know about it. But the whole thing is, the Helgan soldiers came to Earth. I think it's. I think it's Earth. That were just the humans and whatever. They came and invaded. We held them off. At the end of uh, Killzone 1, they left the little warp hole they created to get here. In Killzone 2, how it opens up, we decide to go and invade Hellgan, the, uh, the Hellgast to live on. And uh, we're like, oh, they tried to invade us. Hell no, we're going over there and beating their asses. So we sent our troops over the, through the warm, uh, warm hole they used to get here. And uh, our leaders are like, oh, their morale is down because they lost. Our technology is superior. We have superior soldiers. We're going to win this battle in about a month. It'll be easy. Let's just go out there and kick their ass. But we don't realize is that this is like a nightmare on Earth. We land on Helgan. It is just terrible conditions. People are dying. There are dead bodies everywhere. The battles are not going as great as we expected them. Our technology is not exactly, you know... That I don't know if it's like not saying it's not that great. It's just like not dominating as we were expecting. You know, they're putting up a fight, you know, and our morale is starting to lower. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything else about Killzone 2, but now with Killzone 3, it's basically just continuing on where Killzone 2 left off. It's just continuing the fight on Helgan. Again, our morale is very low. Their morale is starting to get very high because they're winning the fights, basically. They're beating the crap out of us. For the most part, anyway. And so, and it's going to be the first game that's going to 3D. And that's actually something that I want to talk about in a later video when I have more time. But uh, we're starting to run out of time here, actually. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what other gameplays you want to see. What other uh, campaigns you want to see. Whether you know, what other videos do you want me to cover? Uh, for more gaming strategies, I guess you could say, more commentaries, check out the Mad Spartans. Check out the uh, Meteor Gamers channel, the new community channel that's going to be hopefully coming up and running. You know, up-to-date, well-known, hopefully soon. Uh, I'm going to post up a commentary. I'm actually going to post up the Red Dead commentary that I promised you guys earlier to Meteor Gamers. I'm going to give them that uh, commentary. And then, sooner or later, I'll give you guys on this channel another Red Dead commentary. So I hope that all works out to uh, what I planned it to be.
So again, once again, hope you guys enjoyed. I got a dual commentary with the Electronic Nerd, hopefully up by now. I'll link you guys to it. So uh, that's the end of the commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you cool cats later.